take a look at this. I take a screw, I take a magnet, and I connect them in this way. After that, I can connect them to a stylus battery, like this. And finally, I can connect the battery with the magnet, with this electric cable. Take a look. It's moving. I just built an electric motor starting from a few commonly used items. And today I will shortly be able to show you how this very simple system can move also goods and people and how it's helping us to deal with one of the, our biggest challenges for the future, reducing the environmental impact of transportation. Hello everyone, my name is Massimo Temporelli. I work in the scientific outreach field and in particular I focus on the relationship between humans and technology and its effect on society. Today we will find out all about Educato together. It's not just a new green vehicle, but also a genuine new mobility solution. And we will be doing it in the only way we know, by putting it to the test. Coming with us on this journey will be Eric Laforge. Hello Eric, nice to meet you. Hello Massimo, nice to meet you too. Good morning everybody. We are here today to speak about Fiat Professional. Fiat Professional is a team of professionals working for professionals. Indeed, our payoff is a pro like you. Versatility, reliability, efficiency, and of course, sustainability. We embrace the same values as our customers, and our mission is uh, to make their businesses grow. Eric, what does sustainability to you? It has many meanings for us. It means economic sustainability, because we produce working vehicles, and it also means environmental sustainability, because we make sure that they are efficient and clean. We were the first automaker to introduce alternative fuels to uh, light commercial vehicles with the CNG Ducato, and indeed, six in 10 methane vehicles sold in Europe in 2020 were Fiat Professional. And now, in the same spirit, we are ready for the transition to the electric. A truly great record. And there's more. In Europe, the Ducato has led the large van segment since uh, 2014. It has been named best camper base of the year by Motorhome fans for the last 13 running years. And last year, it was the best selling commercial vehicle in Europe overall. And now, here comes the electric version. Exactly. Right in the year of uh, Ducato's 40th anniversary. We launched it in uh, 1981 and we've been constantly refreshing it ever since. Orders are open now for the Educato, the new electric Ducato from all Fiat Professional dealerships. Educato uh, offers all the reliability, flexibility and efficiency our customers are used to, all with zero emissions. So the focus of Educato remains the customer. Yes, let's find out about its development, because the Educato is not just based on customer requirements. It was created together with the customers. A few days ago, we signed a memorandum of understanding with DHL about the Educato, but we actually started working together long before that. Five years ago, right in the DHL offices in Bonn, and the two persons who started it all, one is in Germany and the other one is in Turin Murafiori, right now. But we found a way to get them to meet up. Thanks, Eric. When professional talk to professional, it's very easy to connect each other and to share the real life matters aiming to find shared solutions. With EHL, this is how we started off with a shared intent and the fact we immediately understood each other. Fiat Professional and EHL are two leading brands highly specialized in their fields. And this is important to remark, both strongly innovation-oriented. The partnership between Fiat Professional and DHL, or as I prefer to say, the strong professional attitude we share, led the entire Educato development process. From the customer needs analysis to the product concept, from selecting the objectives to testing the vehicle, all this with a mutual, very demanding approach. We at DHL Express operate around the whole world and connect consumers and businesses in more than 220 countries and territories. 
For this, we rely on our pickup and delivery fleet that today consists of 14,500 vehicles in Europe alone, of which a majority are large vans that we use for our urban and metropolitan deliveries. Due to our strong commitment of zero emissions until 2050, we work on further electrifying our fleet. To introduce more and more electric vehicles, we examined the whole e-market to find vans covering our long-range and heavy payload routes. And here we are, looking at a van that is fulfilling this expectation. Yes, Tore. In such perspective, the big fleet, the so-called early adopters and their demanding contribution, have been playing a key role in the global electrification process. These days, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to have business relation with large fleet without coming to talk of electric vehicles. But the matter for discussion is not yes or not too electric, but how, whether an electric vehicle can be run at an equal or lower cost, and how to optimize the specific mobility solution. With DHL, we have started a virtual circle of vehicle development, de designed talking all customer as the starting point to be, at the end, fitted to the specific needs of each individual customer. The Educato is the result of an extensive program of measurement and test on various missions with a multitude of variables of use. Started just with DHL, or to be more precise, just with Tore in 2016, we took into account dynamic routing, load and environment data to deep dive into how customers operate in real world conditions. Two years of data gathering, over 4,000 connected vehicles, over 50 million kilometers run. The Educato was created fit for mission to meet any need, starting from the requirements of a large logistic operator as DHL, today and tomorrow. We started with the customer and we are back to the customer. Now that the Educato is designed and has been handed over to us, we moved on to the actual testing phase. Together with Fiat Professional, we trialed the Educato in tough tests under different real-world operating conditions, like very low temperatures, extreme slopes, long distances, etc. All of this was done to check its response to the whole range of DHL usage patterns. And I can say, we are quite happy with the results. And so we can continue on our sustainability plan of 60% pure electric delivery routes until 2030. Yes, I can confirm. You have pressed us and pushed us to the limits. And the magnitude of our effort on Educato was really impressive. It was a no compromise approach from the very beginning. Our customer have partnered with us in this challenge and in this difficult journey, which is just only the start of the game for both of us. Ducato has been the point of reference in, in each segment for over 40 years now. And our challenge is to maintain this leadership and to become the benchmark with the latter version two, 100% Ducato and 100% electric. Very interesting. I can't wait to try it out. We start as soon as the loading will be completed. Let's go. So, Eric. As Domenico Gostoli said, 100% Ducato, 100% electric. But be honest with me, Eric. Can you really do everything with the Ducato that you can do with the, the internal combustion version? Well, this is uh, really one of the strengths of the uh, Ducato. It is the only uh, electric uh, large van uh, available almost in all the body types, all the length, all the wheelbases. Uh, and the eight of a basic model. So virtually all the variants and trims of uh, normal conventional Ducato now available with the zero emission uh, Ducato. However, you can choose uh, among uh, roughly 400 versions or configurations of the e-Ducato. Wow. Eric, but who is the later Ducato designed for besides door-to-door -door delivery operators? Loads of uh, Customers are very uh, curious about the, the new uh, Educato from 
professional uh, transport fleets to uh, builders uh, and uh, craftspersons, uh, up to municipal uh, service providers. Uh, but there are also many of us uh, who until now have never considered to buy uh, a knee uh, uh, vehicle. Yeah. So we've created a, an app for each customer to easily calculate the advantages uh, of purchasing an Educato. Do you want to find out whether an electric uh, vehicle is the best solution for your business? You can do it uh, by downloading the uh, Profit app. But it doesn't uh, end with the app. We've used uh, uh, data gathered uh, over two years uh, of testing to develop a complete uh, set of tools for professional users. Yeah. Services for professional uh, features not included uh, in your usual uh, infotainment uh, system. For example, uh, you set the size of your vehicle, including conversions, uh, roof rack or uh, trailer, and the sat-nav automatically uh, knows not to take uh, you uh, onto roads uh, that are too narrow or uh, into restricted uh, eye uh, tunnels. The system also has uh, many features that uh, can be operated uh, remotely. The fleet manager can easily find out the mileage, location, uh, service status and maintenance uh, requirements of each vehicle uh, in real time without leaving their offices or by connecting from uh, the airport or their uh, home via smartphone or off tablet. We have uh, an expert who can uh, elaborate on this. Let's call him. Hey Eric, where are you? Don't say, I'll tell you myself. I can see you on my screen. You are about to reach Milano. You have already traveled 40 kilometers at an average speed of 78 kilometers per hour. And you have uh, 330 kilometers of remaining range. Your vehicle is in a perfect health and is expected to arrive at the delivery address by the set time. I can see all this in my fleet manager, a full suite of fleet management services. Via web platform, fleet managers have all the tools to control, analyze, plan and manage at their fingertips. All vehicle data are available there to improve fleet efficiency and productivity reduce costs, prevent risks, and assure the safety of both vehicles and drivers. But fleet management solutions are only one part of the services provided by the Mopper Connect telematic box. With the Uconnect Live app and my assistance services, you will never be alone on a journey. If necessary, you have a call center open 24 seven, which knows where you are and is ready to send assistance wherever you need it. 
to minimize downtime. And in case the vehicle is stolen, the system can locate it and stop it being restarted to make it easier to recover. With my remote control, you have full remote control over your Educato. Have you forgotten whether you locked uh, the doors uh, or the tailgate? Can you not remember where you parked it? Would you like to receive an alert if the driver uh, puts the foot down on the accelerator or leaves a preset area? It couldn't be easier. And there's more. My car sends you a monthly report by email on your vehicle's health with recommendations for its care. My journey helps you reviewing your journeys in detail. And my charge, specifically developed for the Educato, assists you with everything has to do with charging, from planning to finding the nearest charging points. Depending on the mission, you can decide on the power needed for the vehicle. And depending on the weather, you can also schedule the air conditioning. Efficiency, reliability, vehicle protection, but also passenger comfort and safety. Our connected services offer an extended range of solutions, all in the most convenient and easy way. Do we still have 330 kilometers of range left? Really not bad. Uh, it's now 325, <laughs> uh, to be more precise. <laughs> okay, but let's imagine uh, some extreme uh, situations. Let's suppose that uh, last night I met my possible future soulmate and I forgot to charge the van. And I, as I realized that, I'm uh, way out uh, in the countryside. We have uh, a variety of ways uh, to help our customers uh, who mind, whose minds uh, uh, are elsewhere. Uh, step one uh, is to switch to the uh, drive mode selector. Uh, we are now traveling uh, in normal mode, uh, an optimal ba balance between uh, performance uh, and cost. But if we want to keep uh, my range, uh, uh, or I want to keep my range as high as possible, I can move uh, to uh, echo mode. Uh, if I have a, an heavier load than usual, uh, or if I am on a steep uh, slope, I can go uh, always with uh, the drive mode into uh, power. When the charge uh, level falls, I can uh, avoid range uh, anxiety thanks to the turtle mode. Uh, it works like uh, a mobile uh, phone when the battery is uh, nearly empty. Uh, it activates uh, automatically and limits the vehicle performance, guaranteeing uh, from 8 to 10% uh, more range, about 30 kilometers uh, in uh, our case. We're coming uh, up to uh, a roundabout. Uh, the best thing to do is to turn on uh, eco sting uh, to slow down without uh, pushing uh, the brake pedal. Uh, using kinetic force to uh, recharge the battery. With uh, eco sing on, regenerative uh, braking maintains uh, even more uh, the vehicle's range. Eric, let me think of uh, some other extreme situations. I'm still here, in the middle of nowhere, and I've developed a battery fault. If you were in another vehicle, you would have had a, a huge problem. Yeah. But it's not uh, the case, you are on a Educato. Courtesy of a recovery mode, uh, the Educato is the only electrical CV on the market that never stops. Uh, the Educato has uh, from three to five uh, battery modules and uh, with a recovery uh, mode. If there is a problem in uh, one cell, yeah. the others carry on working and keep you uh, working too. You can therefore plan uh, the repairs uh, uh, you need once your job is done and uh, you don't uh, lose your working day. That's great. By the way, resolve a curiosity of mine. Where is the Educato produced? Uh, in two uh, different places. The vehicle base is uh, assembled at uh, the Ducato's historic plant, uh, the several plant in uh, Atessa, Abruzzo, the first ever uh, automotive LCV joint venture, and also the longest uh, lasting. 40 years ago, uh, the partnership between FCA and uh, PSAR began there. We could say that uh, the Ducato anticipated the, the creation of Stellantis uh, by four decades. 
Sevel is the largest uh, commercial vehicle factory in the world. Uh, the top in terms of uh, technology, efficiency, flexibility and, uh, and uh, product uh, quality too. It's enough to say that uh, Sevel has the capacity to produce over 300,000 vehicles a year and uh, smoothly uh, managing uh, variants of the model. Uh, I told you earlier, think, on average it takes about two weeks for two completely identical vehicles to roll off uh, uh, the lines. It's really a factory, it's more of a tailor shop. A Tesla is the first home, but uh, what about the second one? Go online uh, and, and let's have a look. <laughs> Hello everyone, the second home of the Educato is here in Turin, within the Mirafiori complex. Mirafiori is a center of excellence in electrification, who reproduce over 8,000 units per month between cars and electric vehicles, of which close to 1,000 can be educators. This is where the donor vehicles arrive from Atessa, ready for the electrification, which is done in this truly extraordinary place, Costruzioni Sperimentali, an area dedicated to the production of models that require great flexibility of execution, such as special and emergency vehicles. The Ducato is then taken from here to be distributed all over the world. The Altri Ducato is based on the principle that it should not be the customer who adapts to the vehicle. It should be the electric vehicle that adapts to the customer needs. This is also a technical principle, which our engineers followed, for example, in deciding the right layout for batteries and components. The starting point is all forward architecture a feature of Ducato since its launch 40 years ago, courtesy of its front-wheel drive and therefore the lack of bulk under the floor. The Ducato offers the largest distance between the side rails in this segment. This architecture enabled us to develop the first methane-powered commercial vehicle 25 years ago. And now, its current evolution represents the perfect fit for our electric vehicle. This layout means uh, we retain a large space for the batteries under the floor and that we can keep the vehicle's load capacity intact from 10 to 17 cubic meters of volume and a payload up to nearly two tons. It also has other advantages. It optimizes the weight balance, lowers the center of gravity and gives the Ducato great drivability and handling. The Ducato was created to fulfill customer expectation and we must keep into account that LCV customers have built their business model and their working patterns on the performance of the diesel version in terms of payload, power output, torque and available specs to be fit for mission and to ensure customer business continuity the Ducato had to reproduce precisely these characteristics and that's why it offers diesel-like performance 280 newton meter of peak torque, 90 kilowatt of maximum output corresponding to 122 horsepower and acceleration from 0 to 50 in under 5 seconds. The same concept, adapting the vehicle to the expectation and needs of the professional user, took us to defining the range and charging times. The Ducato achieves up to 280 km of range in the WLTP cycle, which means about 370 km in urban conditions. And this is even more important for its specific usage. Moreover, charging enough for 100 km takes less than half an hour. Another fundamental customer expectation is flexibility. To suit any LCV mission perfectly, the Educato offers modular solutions, two different battery packs, making it currently the best in its class for in-car electric capacity, up to 79 kWh, and four different charging configurations, best in class in this respect too, with AC charger from 7 to 22 kW and a 50 kW DC charger option. Another point very close to customer heart and wallet is the residual value of their vehicle. We offer up to 10 years warranty on the battery modules. That's usually more than two usage cycles. Purchasers of a used Educato know that its battery may still be under warranty. Thanks to its fit for mission concept, its long list of best-in-class features and its durability statement, the market experts estimate the Educato residual value to be higher 
than a similar diesel vehicle. Earlier on, we saw how conceptually simple an electric motor is. That simplicity translates into lower maintenance costs. Indeed, for Educato, 40% lower than a conventional vehicle. So, a longer warranty, higher residual value, and lower operating costs mean we are in line with diesel vehicles in terms of total cost of ownership. Total cost of ownership parity shows the extent to which the Educato is a sustainable vehicle, not only from an environmental point of view, but also from a business standpoint. Eric, if I have understood right, that means that considering its whole life cycle, uh, an Educato costs the customer the same as a conventional vehicle, right? Exactly, but there is uh, more uh, to it too. To speed up the transition uh, to uh, electric, as a group, we've built a complete uh, ecosystem of uh, services around uh, our models. I find that fascinating. Uh, we are talking about the social aftermath of technological change, and that's precisely my field. The objective remains the same. Customer uh, shouldn't uh, notice the, the, the difference. Uh, to achieve that, we've created a 300 degrees uh, network, ranging uh, from uh, our uh, apps, developed uh, to offer remote control functions and to uh, simplify the user experience. To partnerships with uh, energy providers, we've signed uh, agreements with uh, NLX or uh, NG to offer all-round solutions. Uh, from access to uh, public charging uh, stations via app, to full management of the uh, Easy Wallbox, the personal uh, charging uh, system, which uh, we have conceived as a stress-free plug-and-play uh, solution for customers. Uh, we deal with the uh, authorizations, the system uh, installation, and even the sonar panels. This is fundamental because uh, one of the primary concerns of those who want to switch to electric is having to change their habits. But you offer everything that's uh, needed for the new mobility experience to be natural, with uh, no inconvenience uh, to the business, right? This ecosystem is uh, rapidly evolving. The next step is uh, vehicle to grid. Uh, that is the ability to connect the vehicle to the power grid uh, and to use it uh, like uh, an accumulator that can uh, resell electricity when there is a spike uh, in demand. There is a vehicle to grid hub already operational at uh, Mirafiori, close to Turin, developed together with uh, NG, EPS uh, and uh, Terna. Once uh, it will be fully up and running, it will be uh, the biggest in the world uh, with the capacity to connect up to uh, 700 uh, electric vehicles and 12,000 uh, solar panels to charge uh, their batteries during the day. In the future, it will be also uh, possible for the Educato to be V2G uh, connected and uh, generate uh, revenue uh, even when uh, the Educato is uh, stationary. I see we are back in town again and uh, we are coming up uh, to the delivery address, right? Electric uh, vehicles are mainly designed uh, to be driven uh, in the city. And in fact, more and more municipalities are now prohibiting uh, uh, entry to their central uh, areas uh, to uh, internal combustion vehicles. Uh, so uh, if you don't want to uh, severely limit your uh, business, the, the Educato is uh, the answer. And mind, the electric model is uh, but the, the, the first of a great Ducato news of this year. Ducato is uh, preparing to make a, a surprise gift to its customer for its uh, 40th uh, anniversary in 2021. Here we are, we've made it. Our delivery is for a really special customer, Alberto Nobis, CEO of DHL Express Europe. Great to meet you, Alberto. My pleasure, welcome Massimo, welcome Eric. It isn't uh, every day that you get uh, to meet a top manager at a global logistic operator. And uh, I like to ask you what DHL thinks about uh, electric vehicles. Electric vehicles are very, very important. Uh, our strategy, of course, is 
comprising a lot of different elements, but our ambition is really to become zero emission by 2050. So we need to look at every single component of our assets. We are aware that we have a big responsibility because more or less 8.5% of the entire CO2 of the industry is produced by DHL. So we know we need to do something. We have started a long time ago to think about it, and now we are renewing our commitment. Recently, we have developed a new strategy by which we will spend 7 billion euro in modernizing the infrastructure uh, and that's very very you know new in the industry and, and of course in that context the electric vehicle is uh, is, uh, is an integral part um, in the, the commitment is by 2030 to have 60 percent of the entire fleet uh, electrical uh, is a big jump that means in Europe for the business I look for is um, something like 14,000 vehicles that we're going to buy. So it's something that is very, very important. And we really like this partnership with Fiat because we had not just the opportunity to share our expectation, but really to build this vehicle on our specification. So it's a vehicle that is able to address all our needs in terms of uh, uh, activity. It's got the battery allowing the driving distance that we need. More than 200 kilometers is very important for us, but also the capacity vehicle, all the different elements are really built on our specification. And that's very important because will allow us to achieve this target to accelerate our electrification of the fleet and ultimately, step by step, being able to achieve our zero emission ambition by 2050. Thank you, Alberto. To be praised by one of the leading global express logistics operators is a source of pride for us and is a strong signal for the market. But Eric, why have we brought here a piano? Because this piano has to do with us. Well, with the Educato, we are entering in the age of zero emissions. This piano has to do with sustainability. Because the word sustainability comes from sustain. And this is also the name of the piano pedal uh, used to prolong notes. So, sustainability has to do with harmony, with time and with durability. And those are the values behind our work on Educato. The Educato has been made to sustain this kind of transportation we are looking for, flexible, efficient and emissions-free. With the Educato, we set the tone for the future. <laughs>